Okay, my name is Jay Sky, and we are backstage at Manchester Pride 2013 with the legend that is Graham Parks. How are you today, mate? I'm very well, actually. A little tired, but that's part of the course uh, in this game and at my age. But yeah, good, good. Ready to rock and roll. It is actually my personal treat to interview you today. You are a legend of mine, personal hero. But music has changed since the days when you first came out. What do you make of this new sound? Like that's a bit of garage, a bit of deep house. Do you prefer the old school stuff or are you more into the new stuff? I like all kinds. I like I like all the references that, that young producers now are making to stuff from 20 years ago. Yes. Uh, for someone like me who's been DJing for 30 years, it's I know it's it's good to uh, mix the new stuff and the old stuff. But but what I like doing is digging out. Um, obscure old tracks yeah. which weren't necessarily big tracks yeah. um, and I play them with the new stuff and people come up and go what's that last record I go well that's such and such from 1992 and they go what it sounds like a new track you know yeah, totally agree. Uh, and then of course because like what well, uh, kids these days um, they've all got their phones with Shazam yeah, yeah, trying to get it. and you see them on up at the speaker and it, of course yeah. it doesn't come up on Shazam so they ask me what it is and I say well it's um, such and such from 1991 or 1989 and then they go okay and they put it in their phone then they come back about 20 minutes later and said I've just been looking on the internet I can't find it anywhere and I go well you won't find it anywhere because there was only a hundred white labels and it was from Detroit so then they go okay if I email you will you send me a copy and I'm like get away no. that to me tells me you should be bringing out Graham Park Presents Mixed CD in HMV what, why is that not out? It's, well, it's in the pipeline, don't you worry about that. The thing is, the past couple of years, I've done like uh, a couple of kind of big CDs, done like the, the Gail Goy CD with Tool Room and the Hacienda 30th Anniversary CD, yeah. And you can't do, if you do too many CDs, people, uh, yeah, exactly. So um, I've got a lockup uh, that's the size of two double garages, right? And it is full of vinyl. I know it's ridiculous. It cost me a fortune to store it. But I, I, I regularly drive up there, unlock it, blow the dust off record boxes that haven't been opened for 20 years, and take 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 the record box home and, and find out what's in there. Most of the stuff in each box is absolutely not very good. It hasn't aged well. But in each box, you'll find five or six tracks that are just wow. And the thing is, I, I re I'll recognize them, but I don't remember them. Um, and some people like as well, aren't they? Well, no, they are. When you hear something that is a bit familiar, but then it's it's been given a modern twist as well, it makes you like it already because you, you recognise it, don't you? So it's that exactly. So uh, currently, uh, every time I find something that's really good and really obscure, yes. it goes in a pile for this. Graham Park Presents. I, I don't know what to call it, but I think I might call it Graham Park Presents, actually, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll let you have that title as long as we can do a track together. <laughs> I'm up for that. I'm well up for that. I've been dying to work with Graham Park for so long. Like I say, he's a personal hero of mine. But, quick question, what do you think of pop music? Pop music um, is what it is. I mean, I'm a very big fan of Girls Aloud, it has to be said. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Sarah Harding's here. No. Yes. Oh, don't tell me that. She's on face. Is, is, yeah, is Nadine here, though? Nadine, Nadine Coyle? My yeah, she's my favourite, yeah. too. If you go on YouTube, I don't know if you've seen this, there's a video, Nadine Coyle Crocs. Have you seen it? No. And it's hilarious. Only because of her accent, but... Right. Yeah. I love Nadine Coyle and that Irish accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, big shout out to all my Irish fans, sorry. Pop music. Do you no, I, yeah. I, li I like pop, I like yes. pop music. The thing I like about Girls Aloud, uh, well, apart from the fact they're quite pleasing on the eye, yes, they is they, they they sing great pop songs. No, but you see, uh, 20 years ago, or 30 years ago, I was a massive Bananarama fan, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, and my favourite girl group ever... Uh, Destiny's Child? No, although I did like Destiny's Child. Um, I, well, I used to love En Vogue. They were brilliant. Oh, yeah. Sure. But my favourite girl band ever were First Choice, like this right. disco yes, band yes, with, yes, with yeah. Rochelle Fleming. Uh, but I do like pop music. I'm not big on One Direction. I, I, do you know what? Talking about One Direction, right? I know they're massive, right? Yeah, I know what you're going to say. Who... I, 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 was, I saw an advert for their film on the telly, right? Who came up with the idea of abbreviating One Direction as 1D? To me, that's not to me. That says they're one-dimensional characters, which, of course, they are. Moving on, next question. No, pop music's great, but I was 50 about a month ago. Yeah, I know. So... It's not not all pop music relevant to me. Right. Yeah. However, having said that, I was at Glastonbury, and uh, some of the like indie rock bands, they like the Vaccines, for example, 
Brilliant, absolutely superb. So it depends, pop music is a very wide defining spectrum. Um, but I can't listen to Radio 1 and I don't really, I don't really watch music channels, music TV channels. I just listen to what I want to listen to, which is anything and everything. And occasionally, Girls Aloud. Oh, and I'm, I've got two eight-year-old boys who love, sadly, LMFO, L M F O. L M F A O. Maybe a little sigh as well, gentlemen. Not really, but they're massive. I introduced. They, they love Get Lucky, Daft Punk. So I introduced. Yeah, well, I introduced them to Chic. They, the pair of them, I've got their, their iPods where they listen to Chic all the time. So I'm quite pleased with that. But it's in their genes, I think. Well, yeah. What, what? <laughs> so we know already you are great, great musical vocabulary. So the kids are going to have a lot of musical influence. But what about the mum? Has she also got good taste in music? My, my wife's got great taste in music. Uh, my wife used to work for Cream. That's how I met her. Right. I fell in love with my agent. And then we got... <laughs> and, um, uh, no, she's got great taste in music. She likes her big hands in the air vocal anthems. Yeah. Maybe get her all that. No. Uh, things like things like um, things like you know like Sean Christopher make my love and uh, big 90s vocals tunes you know she loves all that so yeah exactly but the only thing is when my wife comes to gigs which isn't very often because we've got kids she gets really annoying because like she's coming up to me going play this play that I'm like oh for God's sake darling let me get on with it you know but that's what she's had a drink you see so then that leads me to my next question which is these children of yours. They're going to be musical, aren't they? Let's be honest. Well, Ben already plays a guitar. Fantastic. No, he doesn't. Ben already, sorry, Ben plays keyboard, right. Oliver plays guitar, okay. and Oliver uh, does a really worryingly good impression of the lead singer of LMFAO. But he's only eight, so when you yeah. see him dancing around in his, the house in his underpants, you're like, whoa, Oliver, yeah. very good, but you're only eight. Can yeah. you stop it, please? But no, they, 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 are, they are very musical, and... Uh, Obviously, I'm, I'm encouraging them in the background. They've already done their first DJ gig as well. They had uh, their school had a school camp, a summer school camp, and they had uh, a school disco. And uh, the PTA asked me if I would DJ at it, and I said, "Mom, I don't do school discos." And then they were like, well, "What about the boys?" And I was about to say, "No, they've never DJed." And and they said, "Well, yeah, let's do it." So I gave them a bit of training, and you know, helped them do it. And they were great. I was really proud of them. Really proud. Yeah, really proud of them. Yeah, yeah. The Park Twins. Okay. So hopefully you'll see a compilation CD. Graham Park presents. Anything else you'll keep forward to before this year is finished? Um, well, I've got a very busy uh, end of the year because uh, as as party season rears its head in the uh, end of September. Uh, which is good though, because uh, people start to wear nice clothes again when, they, when, when it gets cold. Well, not in the summer. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, I, I, apart from your shorts, by the, your shorts are great, but most men wear those ridiculous half, you know, those three quarter length. People don't wear oh, socks anymore. No, I, don't. I don't like that, because imagine the smell. Oh, but the, yeah, I know, but the. Uh, yeah, some socks. No, do, but also when the summer comes and people start putting sandals and flip flops on, men. Spend about 10 minutes like scrubbing your feet and cutting your toenails. They don't bother, do they? No, not at all. Not like women. Don't see guys pedagging, do you? No, I, I can't wait for the weather to get a bit inclement, get my brogues back on, oh, yes. my, my bell staff yes. jacket, yes, yes, yes. and my, my, hev my heavyweight self edge jeans, okay. and party yeah. with everyone else who's dressed up as well. We need to party, but this has been a great interview for La Vida TV, J Sky, Graham Park. Enjoy the rest of the day. I will. Thanks for having me and have a great prize. Bye. Legend, you're amazing. A couple of quick things before you go. Uh, 